Hello, my name is Mr. Baker, and today I'm going to be introducing you to the software which will be used to operate the ProLite 1000 CNC mill, which I just happen to be standing on at this moment. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to open the software, which is called WPLM 1000. Open. Open up. Open. Once open, you'll notice that it's laid out in a format similar to other software, with a main menu located at the top of the screen. In shortcut bars that are located below the main menu and along the left hand side of the screen. This large gray box area here is your editing screen. This is where you will type in or edit previous programs that you've made. To the right, you see three different panels. These are for information and control of the tool. The top right panel is called the position window. This tells us where the tool is located as well as its feed rate or how fast it's moving in spindle speed or how fast the bit is turning. Immediately to the left of the position window is the operator's control panel. This allows you to start or stop the machine and to override the program feed or spindle speed. Directly below the operator's control panel is the keypad window. When activated, this allows you to manually move the position of the spindle and the tool along the three axis of movement. Now, let's open up a program and see how this software actually works. To open a file, click on the File button in the main menu. Then choose the file you want to work with. If you're beginning a new project, you would select New at this point in time. One of the features of this software is that it wants to protect your previous work from accidental overwrites. To this effect, it locks your program when you first open it, so that you cannot type anything into editing. To unlock your program so that you can edit and work with it, you need to select the Edit button in the main menu. Then, find the word Lock and remove the check by clicking on it. You'll notice that once you've done this, the Edit screen changes from gray to white. You're now able to edit your program. Well, this looks pretty good over here. You have a long list of letters and numbers, or G codes, that tell the machine what to do. The next step is to verify or simulate the item that is to be cut. There are two ways that you can do this. You can select the word program on the main menu. Then choose verify from the drop down menu. Or hit cancel. Psst, hey! Hit cancel for me, would you? Thank you. You can select the verify button on the shortcut toolbar. This button looks like a little red cube. Once that is done, select verify program in the new pop-up window. As you can see, this opens a verify or a simulation window on top of your main software. You should notice that as the simulation is running, the position window is also active, displaying the X, Y, and Z location of the tool, as well as what line is currently being read and cut. You use this to target mistakes or make corrections in your programs. And there you have it, folks. The basic layout of the WPLM operating system and the process for opening a program and simulating it. Let's just review a couple of the points of the software again, shall we? First, we have the main menu bar located at the top right hand side of the screen. This has the majority of your commands and menus located in it. 
Below and to the right of that, we have our shortcuts bar. The large gray box here in the middle is our edit screen. To the right are our three separate panels. Our position window. To the left of that, the operator control panel. And directly below the operator control panel, the keypad window. You will need to know and understand how to use each of these panels in menus as we go on through this unit.